Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF-17 and we are looking at the mighty anti-ship weapon that is the C-802 AK, otherwise known as the YJ-83. It's a jet-powered anti-ship missile with a maximum range of around 100 nautical miles. Fully programmable and can be used in various modes. The main modes are direct, coordinate or LOS. Direct will cause the missile to fly from us to a SPI via one turn or route point. Coordinate will make the missile fly from us to a lat long via one times turn or route point. Line of sight or mad dog mode simply just fires in the direction that your plane is flying and will pick up the first target it finds. So the first mode we're going to look at is direct or direct to speed. First of all we need a speed and the amazing thing about this plane is there are so many different ways of creating a speed. A speed is just a target point. It's a sense of point of interest. We could have a waypoint. There, there's a speed right there. Uh, these are the ships. That's me. These are moving ships. Or we could designate a speed from our teapod, or we could designate a speed from our HUD, or we could designate a speed from our air to surface radar. That's probably what we'll do because that just looks the coolest. All of these ways and more are ways of designating speeds that we can use to fire this missile. Now for the turn point or the route point. The turn point can be created from a route point. A route point is any point in our data memory in our aircraft in slots 30 to three four that we can have up to five of them there are three ways to create a route point one here in the mission editor and that's why we're here two from the f10 map and we'll look at that and three from a temporary speed technically there's even more ways of doing it but those are the three main ways the scenario is we are here there is an island in the way and there are some ships we want to sink that island is carrying some magical device that, that means that we can't shoot our missile over it let's just say it's got the sams that can shoot our missile down so we've got to bend our missile around the island we've got to create a route point over here Turn that into a turn point and bend it round here like you do with a game of pool. So first we're going to show this way in the mission editor. We're going to select our guy here. We're going to select this navigation target point. So we're going to add and we're going to click there. Ping. Now we're going to type in here. Oh, for some reason it's already done it for us, but just imagine that wasn't there. We are going to type in RP1, root point one. It has to be spelled exactly like that. You can create more than one root point, but for this weapon, it can only handle one root point deviation. Note that this weapon likes to do lovely big curves. So don't put this point like really close there because it just wouldn't be able to do that curve to get to there. Make it so the deviation is not too much. Now we're going to enter the mission and show you doing it from the F10 menu. On the ground now, press F10. Here's the bad guys. Here's our island. What we're going to do is put a mark point and a mark label. We're going to put our guy about there. This is our root point and RP1, like thus, back to cockpit. Next, we need to arm ourselves up and all we need is our two weapons. We can carry two of them. Arm up. Request rearming. Quite sizable heavy weapons. Next, of course, we need to enter our data cartridge, which is going to enter the information from F10 as well as our weapons into the computer. I'm sure you all know how to do this by now. Rearming complete. Hey, buddy, buddy. Next, I need to prove to you that the F10 coordinate has come through in uh, memory slot uh, 30, it will be the first of the route points. Destinations, scroll down. And there is our route, route point that came from the F10 menu. Next, we're going to take off and go and find the island and the ships. The island's there and our ships are just out of sight somewhere around there. And that is our probably our waypoint one designation there. Master arm on, it already is. Air to ground mode. Look at our weapons here. Our 802s are currently off. We need to power them on. Next, which mode do we want? Direct, coordinate, or line of sight? We're going to start with direct. How many do we want to fire? Definitely only one, but we could change that. This is about how they skim. This is not operable, so changing that will not change anything. This is the expected target size. This is not operable. DCS does not actually look for target size. It's purely to simulate the real plane. What kind of fuse? Direct or delay? This is operable, but they do equal amounts of damage. Here is the weapon we've got selected. Now we go to control. We can see here we've got to align the weapon. It's taken about three minutes in total. We have to wait until we've got zero alignment quality before we fire the missile. In the meantime, we can look at some more options. What altitude do we want the missile to cruise at before its terminal phase? We can have high, 3,500 meters ASL. Low, 50 meters ASL. Medium. 1500 meters ASL. I want high. Next, how do we want the search to work? EFF or CC? EFF means that it will turn on its own search radar. Remember, this missile has its own onboard air to surface search radar. So EFF will basically turn it on as soon as we've fired it and it will be searching for targets from then. CC will turn it on once it's 25 kilometers out from its target, from its speed, which is incidentally 
that guy there. I'm going to go on EFF. It's terminal phase. Do you want it to do a pop-up attack or a skim attack? I'm going to do pop-up attack. It's turning point. Do we want it to use route point 30 or no turning point at all? And we're going to leave that off for a second. Now, the other thing, while that's aligning, I want to show a third way of getting our turn point, our route point out here. And we can do that via our radar. We've got to set our radar up now. So we're going to set it up as C mode 1. C mode 1 is the best one for slow or, or not moving targets. We're going to bring in the azimuth and start searching for our boats. Well, that to me looks like an island. You can just tell after a while what an island looks like. That for me is a flotilla. That's definitely a flotilla. And that is probably a tanker or something. We're going to make sure that this is soy, which it is already, so we don't need to do anything. Next, we're going to move our cursor out here. And I'm going to put, if that's the island there, I'm going to put the cursor over to the right of the island. And I'm going to create a spee there by pressing target lock. I've now created a spee right there. I could probably prove that. There it is. You can see I've got my spee marker there. Showing that's a spee. Now we're going to convert that spee into a mark point. So, I'm going to press mark. Through designation. Mark point 41, mark. That's converted that speed there to a mark point. Why don't we go and prove that to ourselves? Destinations. Mark points are from 41 onwards, so let's go and check 41. There it is. There's 41 that we just generated. Why don't we copy that? Why don't we now go up and paste that as 31, as the second root point that we can use as a turn point? Paste. And we can get out of here back to SMS. And what we should be able to do now, let me just double check nothing has changed here and it hasn't. Let's go back to control. I can go turn point 31, 30 or 31. So that 31 is the turn point that I selected there through the radar. And that's showing the third way that we've got of designating on the fly a turn point. Similar things can be done in the Viggins RBS-15. So the only thing we've got to do now is designate the speed for the target. If we wanted, we could just designate it through that waypoint, but I wanna be a bit cleverer than that, so I'm gonna go back to the air-to-ground radar. Everyone likes an air-to-ground radar. I'm gonna put it there. I'm gonna designate and watch this north and easting change when that happens. Ping. So to re-clarify, it's set up in direct mode to speed. The speed is set there. The turn point is set there, which we did through three different ways, but in the end, we did it through route point 31 through here. And that's it. We're going to fire. Uh, before I fire, actually, if we look along the HSD here, you can see there we are. There's this line of travel and there's the speed there. So let's push and hold weapon release. So this guy should, first of all, cruise at about 15,000 feet. Uh, sorry, uh, three and a half thousand meters. Three and a half thousand meters. And it's going to go to our turn point designated through the radar. Then it's going to do a left large radius turn. Please. Yes. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to forget. And it's found a target now because it's going down. That's how you can tell it's found a target. It's now going into terminal phase. It's going to skim and then pop up. Now I can't choose exactly which vessel. It will choose for me based on its own par parameters. Looks like it's going for a frigate. Maybe a destroyer. We've got the pop up. And we've got a hit on a moving target. Automatically selected our next station. This time we're going we're to do coordinate mode. Everything else there will leave the same. We go to control. We can change all the stuff. Now the only thing that's different is now we can no longer designate speed through our radar or HUD or our waypoint. It has to be typed in by coordinates. Bit of a weird thing. I don't know why this is, but that's just how it is. I would have to click on lat, type the lat in there. I would have to type in long, type the long in there. Otherwise, it's exactly the same as the director speed. We're not going to do that because that's pretty boring. What we're going to do is go to line of sight mode, mad dog mode. This will just fire the weapon straight forward at whatever settings we've got here. And you can see we've got reduced parameters here. So we can tell it when to turn the radar on. We tell it what to do when it finds a ship. We'll skim this one. We're cruising at uh, medium. Otherwise, it's just going to go and do whatever it wants to do. So with this, I can't add turn points in. I can't avoid the island. Oh, I thought it was going to... No, it's found something. Look. Going for a destroyer. Boom. We've shown the direct, the coordinate, and the mad dog mode. We've explained the different ways that we can acquire a speed. And we've shown three different ways that we can add a turn point from a route point. That's the C802AK. I hope that helps. And see you later.